and pretty <laughs> and even prettier. Hello, everyone. I'm Mia Voss. I'm here at Social Media Marketing World here in San Diego, and I'm with Cynthia Sanchez. Hi, sweetie. How are you? Oh, hello, hello. How are you doing today? Good. It's good to see you. Thank you. It's so great to see you. Thank you so much for doing this. How pretty she looks, everybody. You should see her. She's got her nice pink on. She's adorable. And not to, you know, just make it all about looks, but I did. I saw her on Tuesday night and was like, look at Cynthia Sanchez. And then I started reading more about her, which I had. So you've got such an amazing story. She's oh so Pinteresting as her business now, but you started off in a completely different world, even as a of two years ago, right? That's correct. Yeah. Right. So tell everybody what it is. Yeah, back in the day, oh, two years ago, I was a radiation oncology nurse. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> and then so I but so you are now you have oh so Pinteresting, you've got clients, you're doing speaking, you're doing two presentations here at Social Media Marketing World. Uh, mother of two sets of twins, mm -hmm. hot little number by the way, I'm just saying. <laughs> but you um but you're in a completely different world that you've just like accidentally created almost, right? Yeah, it was quite by accident. I just sort of decided to start a blog for fun. It just happened to be about Pinterest, and a local business owner found my business card and wanted to hire me. We talked. It's like, are you sure? I'm a nurse. I'm not a social media person. And they said, yeah, we like what you do and what you're doing. And I was like, okay. So I just dove head first into everything social media, how to do marketing for business. And then I realized it's not much different from what I did as a nurse, actually. In what way? Um, well, it's about really getting to know people and what they need and where they're trying to get to. As a nurse, it's with their health goals, with their health, you know, with their, with their, whatever their health status might be. Um, within business marketing, it's where they want to go, what they want to achieve, what they want to do. So instead of implementing nursing interventions and medications and all those types of things, I'm implementing marketing interventions and those types of things, but more visual, more fun, and a lot more lighthearted. What an amazing analogy, though, when you think about it, is it's goal oriented. So same thing. So so you're just now you've just switched over to that. Now, do you miss the on, the oncology or the nursing or anything? Oh yes, there's certainly definitely parts of it that I do miss. I had patients that I took care of for years and you know I, I don't have that contact with them anymore so um, and, and I love the science behind it and you know the the miracles that I saw happen every day um, but uh, yeah but I, I'm really enjoying this it's definitely been another one of those adventures in my life and I, I, I like to try new things I like to explore I'm always curious about things so now I'm getting to travel the world and speak and I, I meet people from all around the world now so that, it's, it's just fabulous so this is almost like a, this is a dream thing for a lot of people to get into social media. I feel like for you it's become embodied and out there that, you know, you started, had an interest in it, and now it's actually become a business. So what could you uh, say to, to people to encourage that who want to switch things up, want to do something different? Um, social media obviously is really saturated. Do you have any advice for us on that? I like just kind of switching up and then do a new business and how you handled that? Yeah, to switch it up, um, realize that it's going to be a lot of work. Um, a lot of work. I work harder now, work more hours now than I did any time as a nurse. Even going to nursing school, clinicals, rotation, all that kind of stuff, nothing compared to this. Um, because when you do this, and you do this because you want to do this, it's it's become your passion. It's become your heart. It's, it's, it, it takes over your life in a sense. Um, but it's fun. It's fun. So it's work, it's work, but it's fun. So you want to keep on doing it. Um, I did miss a few TV shows and a few movies and a few, you know, kind of my hobbies. DVR baby, yeah. right? You know, I mean, I don't do that as much anymore. But the way, the fulfillment that I get from all that I get to do now, the people I get to meet, the businesses I get to help, it's 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 worth it. It's so completely worth it. I, I can see that too, because you're um, it's it's a new way of connecting with people. You get new people interested. So tell me, what was the first thing on Pinterest that you loved? Like the first time you looked at it? Because I know for me, I just love the shiny. I love the recipes. Like, what was the, kind of the first thing you started getting interested in it? Long before there was obviously links that you can do to building business. Yeah, the very first thing it was food. I mean, I'm a food girl. I love to eat. Um, <laughs> we say mama loves her groceries. Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um, so I found recipes. I found projects for my husband to do around the house. Um, I used it the very first year that I was on. There was kind of in the fall, so late summer, fall, and really close to Christmas. I found my mom's Pinterest account. She was actually on Pinterest before me. She's the one that invited me and bugged me, sent me invitation after invitation saying, you need to join this. Like, no, mom, I'm too busy. Look at the monster she created. I have, no, she had no she idea. Did. Look at what she did. Um, and I went to her Pinterest account, saw that she had pinned this outfit. Um, it was from a polyvore type thing, and it was stuff that wasn't available or stuff that was available overseas. But I printed out that pin, took it to the mall with me, and copied that outfit and knew she would love it. You know, she's one of those moms that's really hard to shop for, sure. but there was no reason she wouldn't love what she already pinned. So it was great. Right, right. So it's 
the idea board almost. Like, what is it you like? And then go to it too. All right, so what's coming up for you? What do you have coming up? You got a class coming up? I do, I do. I'm launching the next session of my Oh So Pinteresting Pinterest for Business Workshop series. It's like long, but. It's such a clever name, the Oh So Pinteresting. That is, that is fabulous. Because it really is like, oh, that's so Pinteresting, right? Yeah, you know, people say that, yeah. <laughs> so who's that class for? Um, it's for somebody that's really wanting to really grow with Pinterest and really understand it to use it for their business. Um, you know, it's best if you have a little bit of an understanding of what a pin is. You know what a board is. Sure. You don't have to know much beyond that. Um, and it's a three-week live interactive workshop. Okay. So it's it's uh, it's a group of 20 people, no more than 20 people. We get online with a like kind of a conferencing type of situation, and we do we teach about Pinterest. And you know, so that way, if you have your question right then there, you can ask it. You can ask questions and share experiences with the other people participating in there. I really like bringing together people and teaching and learning. Um, I, I, that's that's where I feel like you know I'm doing the best for people. And how fun that you're going to bring in these 20 new people that don't know each other. So they're going to be able to build some amazing relationships too, just simply by osmosis of being in the class, asking each other questions. So what a smart idea too to build a class so that it's not just you, but it, it's kind of Ronnie Benzer has the same thing with the Hangout Mastery that we all kind of interact with one another. Um, so we're getting stuff from each other as well as who's running the class. Exactly. There's a Facebook group that comes along with it. So past members of the or past people have taken the workshop. Oh, yeah. Past participants, you know, in the current ones, they're all talking to each other. I've had two food bloggers in there just sharing ideas and did you try this and did you try that? Right. And just asking questions and everybody learning from each other. You know, it's yeah, it's been it. great. It's That's been great. It. And yeah. and how do we sign up for that? Where do we find that? You can go to ohsopinteresting.com. There's workshop buttons all over and yeah. And your Facebook page has it too, because I saw that today. I was checking that out and you've got some great content on there. Now how are you loving Google Plus? I love Google Plus. <laughs> we love Google Plus. I do. I do. Um, I think it's just, you know, where Facebook was family and friends and high school and all this kind of stuff. This is a different place for people that you can just kind of relate to and build friendships and, and connections with and talk to and share those common interests or the silly cat picture, or the you know, the coffee meme or whatever the case may be. Uh, yeah, it's a little. It's not that judgy kind of gossipy kind of thing you know you find on other places um, so I'm really enjoying it the hangouts are great um, the way it's showing pictures you know I, I do have a little kind of picture meme thing on my Pinterest account that that Google Plus is now trying to look like Pinterest you know when they made that shift it's like yeah yeah of course like well now you know yeah, now, yeah. now you finally got in bed with this and saw how it looks and that is kind of fun too because I mean for instance I saw that you're gonna be here and I reached on Google Plus the other day and we were connected and then I saw you on Tuesday night so the magic of that like it just for Facebook that would have never happened for that too of just saying it's IRL I felt very comfortable because you can you can really get a feel for what people's personality is too so yeah, yay it's so easy it's easy mm -hmm. to connect it's not, it no, is yeah. yeah there's not I mean It, you, you feel safe enough so you're you're not too exposed, but you really can connect with people quite easily. I get to know that person and reach out to him too. Mike Gingrich was a good example of it because he saw that we were here, um, so I interviewed him this morning too, so it's good. Well, I'm excited for your presentations. Real quick, tell me what those two are today or this week. Yeah, um, the first one is a, a session about Pinterest and loyalty and how to grow that loyalty through Pinterest. Um, it's kind of a superhero. I'm kind of a Thor girl right now. I don't know. Who's your favorite superhero right now? Uh, well, they have, there's a hero component in there. There's gotta I would be, go with you know. anybody who's a badass chick. So you ah, <laughs> badass <laughs> chick. Okay. I'm a Star Wars and Walking Dead girl. Okay. So okay. Like, well, you know, we got Princess that. Leia in there. I mean, yeah. who gets more badass than her? There you go. There you go. Yeah. And the other one's a panel uh, with three different types of businesses. I'm moderating the panel. Uh, we have Constant Contact, which is a B2B business, just doing amazing things on Pinterest. Um, Whole Foods, a retail, you know, and then of course you got the food component there. They're doing great things on Pinterest. And San Diego Zoo, which is a local destination touristy type of business, doing great stuff with Pinterest. What a great idea for them to choose that. Hopefully that doesn't show. <laughs> a giant cart just went by. So. In case you can't hear it, uh, but I bet you probably can. What a great combo, though! Constant contact, Whole Foods in San Diego Zoo. So yeah. you got yeah the the local component too. It's always fun to see who's doing cool stuff. It's unusual. I remember the first time um, somebody had pointed out that Southwest Airlines they've got like an amazing presence. And I mean they're they're an airline. How much more can you do? But they're really fun pens. So um, and real quick before we go, tell us what some of your favorite um what, what are some of your favorite Pinterest pinners. Like accounts. Yeah, uh, Peg Fitzpatrick does amazing hey. stuff with her account. We gotta love Peg. You know, she's there. She's bringing Pinterest and Google Plus together. What's yeah. not to love there? 
Yeah, yeah. Um, Kelly Lieberman, she has a weekly pin chat. It's on Twitter, so Pinterest is kind of getting around. Yeah, she has a great Pinterest account. Um, oh, my gosh. Educator Spin on It, which is a kids' parenting educational blog. Um, they have done a great job with their group boards. Oh, my gosh. I've really leveraged their group boards. They, you know, for one of their boards for a very long time, ranked number one on Google for kids' reading activities, outranking PBS and Scholastic. Smart is that? Is it how fun to see these grassroots people put out this really great information? So, um, guys, go check out those boards as well, and then go check out Cynthia at Oso oh Pinteresting. Tell us all the places. To find you. Yeah, OsoPinteresting.com, and of course on Pinterest to find me there. I'm Cynthia Pins, um, and uh, of course it's Google Plus. Yeah. Thank you so much, sweetie. Enjoy. Thank you. Have fun, you guys. I'm Mia Voss, closing out here at Social Media Marketing World with Cynthia Sanchez. Have a good day.